Welcome back folks, it is time for the starting 11 prediction for Sunday's game away at Kilmarnock. We come in it off the back of last week, brilliant performance, 5-1 at home at Hamilton. Great performance, I thought going forward we played some absolutely terrific football. It was enough to put us top of the league as well, so we got off to a brilliant start. So important to set a marker down, it's a cliche, everybody's been saying it in the past week or so, but so important to, to start on the front foot, get a big win, finish the weekend top of the league, that was nice as well. So we come into this one. Looking good after last week. The games are going to start to pile up for here on out though. We've got St Mirren during the week um, and then the qualifiers are on the horizon right behind it um, the week after. Come on, come into this one. Off the back of a 2 1 defeat Easter Road last week. Um, when you think back to the games last season against them, we had three, three games against them in the league. They all finished 3 1, funnily enough. So aggregate score 9 3. Obviously, we know it's a tough place to go. The surface isn't brilliant on that the plastic pitch. No fans this time though, so that'll be different for us. First uh, away game in the league without fans as well, so be interesting to see whether that helps or hinders the team. I expect it to help us. Hopefully we get that sort of training game atmosphere and we can just blow Kilmarnock away. I think if we play football the way we did last weekend, I know it's sometimes difficult in that pitch, but if we can play um, the way we did going forward, I expect three points for this game. I was one away last week uh, with my starting 11 prediction. I thought Barkas would start um, it came too soon from Scott Bain, uh, got the nod for Neil Lennon. But I'm going to go again, starting in goals with Vasilis Barkas. I think this is surely the opportunity to give him his debut now. OK, he'd only been in the building two or three days uh, before last week's game, but again, with the qualifiers on the horizon, I think it's important to get him bed into the team as quickly as possible. So we'll go Barkas in goals. The back four, Jeremy Frimpong, who was absolutely outstanding last week, I think. That's a big, big season for him. He can go from strength to strength. And obviously going forward, he, he was superb last season going forward. But if he can add more assists and goals, as he did last week, um, the sky is honestly the limit for him. Hopefully there's no uh, hatchet jobs for Alan Power uh, on this trip to Rugby Park like there was the last time. In the centre-half, Julian and Ayer, no, no doubts about that. Uh, we're still waiting in the centre-half. We're getting linked to a lot of strikers uh, in the transfer window. But seems quiet on the centre half front which is worrying because that is a real area of weakness we don't really have any depth there at all but it will be Julian and Ayer I thought at times last week they were a bit shaky defensively but hopefully as the match sharpness picks up um, that will be gone left hand side Greg Taylor superb last week I touched on how some people are still unsure about him going forward long term at left back but I think last weekend he done himself absolutely no harm two fantastic assists um, great low crosses into the box to give Edward and Frimpong open goals so he was terrific last week as well um, the fullbacks a big facet of the game going forward last week so I fully expect those two to continue in front of them we'll go Scott Brown again I think a couple of people had said on Twitter at half time last week that Scott Brown maybe didn't look um, at his best again maybe getting up to speed at the ripe old age of 35 so hopefully another game in his legs Matt Sharpness will, will pick up as well Callum McGregor beside him superb um, running out of spell it was for Callum McGregor he was the, the whole game just runs through him I thought last weekend he was terrific um, some of the passing the way he receives the ball we say it week in and week out and season in and season out with Callum McGregor absolutely terrific in front of him Ryan Christie who I was keen on the, the live reaction last week to, to praise because I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was involved in everything that we'd done. He gave a, a real sense of energy to the team, which is important when there's not any fans in the stadium. I thought he was involved um, in the build-up to the first goal with Frimpong in the right-back area. He played a great ball to release Forrest down the right-hand side for the third goal. He was integral in everything we'd done. And it's obviously a big area of debate in the team about whether and Cham should be starting ahead of him. Um, I think Christie's going to keep his place because off the back of last week's performance I think it would be unfair to drop him again I think we'll see in Cham at some point in the game right hand side James Forrest um, a lovely assist for, for Edward last weekend always drifting inside to allow that space for Frimpong as well so I fully expect him to keep his place on the right hand side on the left hand side El Yunusi who again worked hard linked up well some of the interchanges going forward were absolutely brilliant across the whole team uh, last weekend so this is why I think Neil Lennon is going to keep much the same team. Only Barkas in goal, I think, is going to be the only change. Um, and then up top, obviously, the main man, a hat-trick hero last weekend. He's behind me. Last weekend just kind of summed up um, where he's at. He made it look so easy. Great to see him involved in the build-up, which he always is, coming deep, linking the play, but then also getting into the six-yard box, 
um, and scoring three real strikers goals. I keep saying it, so integral that we keep him because he scores goals. That's what he does. That is what he does. Um, and he's the most important player in the team. That's it. That's the team I went with. Like the video. Comment with your own thoughts below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on Sunday for live reaction after the game. We'll be on the same time as last week, but quarter to seven. So please don't miss it and we'll see you after the game. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.